Located at the east end of Columbia Pike, just blocks from the Air Force Memorial, is Dama Restaurant and Bakery. It's a family-run business that's been on the Pike for 12 years, and it features traditional Ethiopian food. And many of you say it's the best in the area. It also has a very popular bakery, so we're in for a real treat today. How did Dama begin? Dama started six decades ago by our father. He decided to be a baker to support his family as well as feed the community with his bread. He was known to be a heavily humanitarian. We decided to carry on his legend to the next generation as far as it takes. This restaurant not only is a food place, it has a meaning to us. You have a cafe, coffee bar, bakery, butcher shop and a dining room. How do you find time and energy to balance everything? The business is owned by the whole family, but we divide the work, what we do. Like I do the pastry, my brother is the manager, he takes care of the whole area. My other sister does the cooking, my cousin does all the shopping. This is run by a family, and everybody has his own skill, and it's very easy to get it going as long as you, are, you stay united. And we are heavily united. And you're a pastry chef, so tell me a little bit about your background. I think baking was in my blood, I could say, because when we grew up, our father used to, there was a baker, and we used to bake breads inside, inside the house. I want to learn more about food, how to make cake, you know, stuff like that. So when I came here, I went to Howard University. I graduated from there with nutrition and science. Then after that, I went to culinary school where I made the White House pastry chef. He taught me everything that I know about baking. And while I was there, besides baking, I learned about cooking, French cooking, Italian cooking. Out of everything you've done, what can you say you're most proud of? Lately, I have been doing a lot of vegetarian cakes, vegetarian entrees. It's totally my creation. First, when I started, it was very hard. You want to make a cake with no milk, no butter. Just in the way, but I was able to come up with fancy, fancy, very fancy cakes and cookies and pastries. What do you suggest people who come here for the first time order? We would say the cooked for and the vegetarian. And before they leave, do you think they should order a dessert? They have to have a dessert. <laughs> you come to Dama, you have to taste the cooked for and you have to try the desserts. That's why a lot of people are drawn here. Okay, can we head back and start tasting? Sure you can. Yeah, sure. So we can go to the kitchen now. Okay. One. We're in the kitchen with head chef Helam and co-owner Yeshi. Yeshi, what is the first dish today? So it's basically fried lamb. It's served with injera, which is our traditional bread. Do you serve the traditional bread with every dish here? Pretty much. Wow, oh, look at that. Okay, so you're adding some onions. Garlic. Some salt. There's some, what, jalapeno right there? Yeah, jalapeno pepper. Is this something your dad used to make? Yes, he did. Passed down from generations. Well, this looks good. And so you serve it with the traditional bread. And this bread is very uh, spongy and stretchy. It's traditional to eat with your hands, right? Yes. Good flavor. It's a good flavor on that lamb. You know what? I can taste that jalapeno yeah. spice. It kind of kicked in like five seconds after I started chewing. Oh, this is for more spice? All right, let's do it. I need some water. <laughs> I like that dish. I drove all the way from Western Loudoun to uh, come to Dama today. If you want good Ethiopian, this is the place in Virginia. So this is a beef dish. Is this one of your more popular beef Very dishes? Very popular. Actually, this is what we are mainly known for. Is that chili powder? Very hot chili powder. So you saturate in flavor yeah, yeah. by using your hands. So is that done then, or do you bake it? It is done. It's just the same as a steak tartare. We serve it just like this then, right? So we put curry cheese on the side. So this is considered the raw. Mm. It is good. It's very good. I taste some lemon. Is that in the bread? Yeah, uh, sour. Again, the, the chili, the, the spice just kicked in. So after it goes down, that's when it kicks in. Oh, that's good. I like that combination of the cottage cheese and the collard green. 
I like it because I can really taste it. It was good because although it was raw, it was it, it was warm and very tasty. And this meat comes straight from your butcher, who's 20, 20 feet up there. All right, we're in the pastry kitchen. This is the place to be, because you can see all of these pastries down here. On this side, we have vegan pastries, and over here, regular. Okay. So what's the difference between the vegan and the regular pastries? The vegan pastry, no dairy, no butter, no animal product at all. So what do you use instead of an egg? Uh, I use the flour. Okay. I mean, there's a, there's a way to get around that. Get around that, okay. yes. This is the vegan cake. As you see, this is the lemon raspberry cake. This is the velvet. It's basically a chocolate and mocha and a white cake. This is a fruit cake. And this is a mocha, it's a coffee flavor cake. You use the coffee that you sell yes, here? Yes, This is my favorite cake. Actually, all of them are my favorite, but if I have to eat normal cake, I would do this one. It's uh, a black and white chocolate mousse cake. Oh, that sounds yeah. great. Yeah. No wonder it's your favorite. Yeah. And you also do wedding cakes, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, we do. Very high in demand. Uh, you want to have your wedding cakes break here, I mean, done here, you might as well book us a year before, really? or six You're an months. advanced lady. Yes. This is like a croissant version of our pastry. And this is traditional to Ethiopia, it right? It is, yes. Okay. This, this bombolino is like a donut, but it's not sweet. Yeah. yeah. It's like orange and vanilla. Yes. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. It's not sweet, but it doesn't need to be sweet. No. Thank you for letting us in your kitchen today. Thank You're you amazing with all of these cakes. I don't know how you do it. And I'm going to get out of here before I try every single piece because I know I have the potential. Come here for yourself and try it. It's great. Good fun, great food, and surrounded by family. Dama offers a worldly experience, too. Thank you to our viewers who suggested it. Now it's time to pay it forward. Visit our website at arlingtonva.us backslash AVN and click on Food for Thought. There you can find a link to Dama as well as every other restaurant we've visited. We're not quite done with the pike yet, so stay with us.